So, I want one. What has blown your mind? Please describe two gifts from my coworker Alexis. This was a really, really fun build. I think this would be ground. The only way, the only way Sarah would divorce me. Here we see the rod. <laughs> What's up guys? It is April 13th and yeah, this is the first vlog. I've had a lot going on. I'm working on a lot of things and I just want to give you guys a quick update. I don't know how many sections you're going to see in this month's vlog. I'm going to try and I don't think instead of doing smaller ones, I kind of want to see if some longer ones like longer clips will work better because I just want to give some updates for some of the projects that I'm working on. So let's go ahead and just dive into it. So I'm working on editing two really big videos. I really like how they came out. They look really good. Uh, I submitted a piece for a pinup contest, so hopefully I'll hear back on that. I'm hoping I win because, yeah, that'd be cool. And then I also am currently working on a pretty big video right now that I'm filming. So I have the two videos that I'm editing, and then I have this video that I'm currently filming. So, yeah, this is going to be pretty cool. I don't know when this video is going to release. Probably sometime next year. But a little sneak peek. Yeah, it's my sketchbook, and uh, pages aren't moving. So I'll give you a little sneak peek on that. I don't know when, again, not sure when that video will come out. I also have the sheet of bristol here by the way that i ran over with my seat i don't know if you can see that i don't know the best way to show oh you can kind of see it there so i don't know what i'm gonna draw on it but i already taped it, a border on it so i'll figure something out it's actually not noticeable from the front it's pretty cool how like from the back you can see it but from the front you can't and then i also have been working on two kind of two commissions i'm doing a logo redesign for a fashion company and then i'm also doing an eight page illustration for a conference on covid awareness and prevention that's been fun and I've been sketching them out in my illo sketchbook which somehow has become my commission slash planning sketchbook like for example I did a commission a while ago with my old boss Nicole where I drew her daughter the Muinator, who was this little like barn dude which by the way I drew this and then I used the Jazza um, creating thing thinking that we were allowed to create anything but no it was like for his character so that was like a mishap that was like oh I totally misunderstand that assignment and then if you look further in the sketchbook Book. I also have my Star Wars rough layout that I did a giant Star Wars for a piece for a commission that was really fun. Um, I also have my space hand, so I have the initial pencil and then I have the actual colored layout. And then if you turn the page, I do have the commissions for this one, which I can't show because they are also buying exclusive rights to that. So putting a lot of time into it, but and I won't be able to show you guys, which kind of sucks. With that said though, I do like how they're coming out. I think they look really, really good. So I've been working on that. I'm actually gonna put this sketchbook right here so it's chilling. Um, I also really Reorganize my alcohol markers. I cleaned this stuff up. Uh, I did a lot of maintenance on the studio. Hung up some pictures, which I showed last time, but I did that. Uh, so yeah, it's just kind of been working on a lot of stuff. I played Baldur's Gate 3 for a couple hours with Alex last night. That was really fun. We had the Everon campaign Tuesday, which yes, I have drawn my characters for Everon and Naruto. I just don't know when I'm going to actually finish them because they are penciled. I just need to ink them and color them and all that fun jazz. Uh, another thing too that I really am excited for is I got some art supplies. Now one of them I definitely am going to make a dedicated video for. But I did finally cave and I got the Tombow Zero. This is the one that's kind of like the back of the Black Wings. You see how they have this really nice eraser. So yeah, this dude here is like that. It's mechanical eraser. It's pretty cool. It's not my favorite. I still personally think that the Tombow Knock is the better, especially because because not only is it a good quality, but it has a full eraser body versus these other dudes that are like half plastic, half eraser. So overall, not only do I think it's a better tool, but it's just more affordable and it's just easier to maintain. This one I definitely use here and there. I think it's a really good tool to have in conjunction with the knock. But if you had, if you are on a budget and you had to pick one, I would say the knock. And then this one here was just to complete the collection. So I haven't actually used it yet, but it's pretty cool. So I have this dude. And then today I picked up two more stuff. So this was, I think two days ago. This one here is what I picked up today, which was a watercolor block. And this is just some hot press watercolor paper. This stuff's 100% con, it's archival. The Blick paper is really, really good. It's actually like the same quality as Arches. So I wanna go to the factory where they make all the stuff because it's a factory in Brooklyn where I believe they make like 99 or like 90% of what they actually sell. So I wanna do that at some point. I think it'd be really, really cool. So this is pretty cool uh, for the anniversary sale. A lot of stuff was on sale, so I got to pick that stuff up. And and then finally, and I've been waiting by the way, like since I started my new job. So like two, two and a half years, I've been waiting for this to come back in. It finally came 
and I'm really excited. I can't wait to swatch it. It is the Phosphorite Green, basically the glow-in-the-dark golden acrylic paint in a tube. So we sell the little jar, which is like 20 bucks, but this dude here, yeah, I'm really excited. It was like 10 bucks, and I've been wanting to try this for a while. This is something that I think is going to be really fun to play with. So I do need to swatch it in my swatch book. That was another big project I've been working on, so I'll be working on that soon. But yeah, I'm really excited to finally have this guy. This is going to be a whole video. Like, it's going to be really cool to do. So I think in all honesty, that's everything. The projects, the commissions, some behind the scenes stuff. Um, I just have a lot of stuff on my plate, which I love because I like to keep busy. What's the old saying? If you want something done, ask a busy man to do it. And I, I kind of think in my life, I like just extrude that in just like spades. And so uh, while it's a lot and it can feel overwhelming, I don't feel overwhelmed. And I think I'm just doing my thing, making it work. And yeah, the other day, so last month, I didn't get a chance to talk about this. It was a little personal, but we found some old tapes of when I was a kid and it was cool to hear my grandfather's voice again. So uh, for those who don't know, my grandfather passed last year and it was really hard on me and my family. So it was really, it was a good blessing to hear his voice. It was really nice. So that was like something that I wanted to talk about in the last one's vlog. I believe I didn't, but I want to mention it here that it definitely was really good to hear that and I just want to focus on the positives you know I don't want to focus on the negatives I want to say positive say you know what this is some of the good that's out there that we're doing on the channel and I want to focus on that stuff so uh, thank you guys so much for being awesome again we're going to try some of these longer format vlogs where I'm not doing some quick rapid stuff I want to try and get some pretty decent vlogs and some contents and some dialogues with you guys I love hearing you guys' feedback so um, thank you all so much Patty you're awesome you watched every vlog so I just want to say right now you're awesome and amazing she probably already left like two comments right now so uh, go like them because she's amazing. So yeah, let's go ahead and get into the rest of this month. Again, I don't know how much I'll be filming. I don't know how much I'll be doing, but I'm going to try and do some good quality discussions with you. So let's see if I actually remember or commit to it. Man, Sarah, I want one. what has blown your mind? Please describe to our viewers what just blew your mind. I wish I captured your entire, like, just, just mind just blown. We just saw a portable brick oven. Like a, a pizza. A person literally, they live here like a pizza brick oven. Somebody literally has one behind their car in like his little trailer, just a whole freaking thing right there and just driving them down the road. Man, my whole life, I wish I knew that I could rent those things. God bless. Green light. <laughs> like they literally just drove down right there and they had an entire a brick oven just perfectly just rounded off and ready to go and the door was kind of flinging open a little bit not only is it was just like a pizza oven in a trailer no like the trailer was custom made to fit the pizza yeah. oven like it, it was perfectly it, just fit in there yeah it took up the perfect amount of space someone not only made a pizza they, brick oven they built the brick oven inside the trailer to make it portable. or or what i was gonna say they built the trailer around the pizza brick oven. And that looked handmade too. Generally, like I wish I captured the moment you saw it because I literally <laughs> saw your mind and every gear in it just be like, I'm sorry, what? There's a little smoke coming out of my ears. <laughs> it's like, this does not compute. <laughs> I, it, so. I don't know, honestly, that makes a lot of sense. And really, that's a good amount. You can make a lot of money with that. Think about it. So did you see the car that was pulling it? Uh, yes, I recognize the... It was, it's a local pizza joint. Yeah, it's a local pizza joint. So, I, I can't remember. It started with an M. Is it a gimmick that. for them, like, delivering pizzas? Or do they actually use it and you can rent it? I have Wait, so many questions. Yeah, it was them. Okay, it was, um... Man Ma Mandola? Mandola? Okay, that's Mandolas? it. Mandolas? Or Mandolas? I, Mandol I, I, I was about to say, I was going to go with Mandolas. I could be wrong. Mm. Either way, I have questions. Like, do they do catering? so many <laughs> questions? What do they do catering? But they make the pizza like fresh there in the oven at your place. That was a van. It was a van. So I wanted. Do they have like tables and stuff? That's an this, that's an amazing gimmick, dude. Gotta, have, now I know what we need to invest money in. I know too. Forget taco trucks and stuff like that, man. You can make like portable pizza ovens. A pizza brick truck. oven. Brick oven pizza ovens. This this is amazing. This is truly. I like how they have new life, but in teeny letters, Church of Tampa. Really? You don't see that when you drive up. You just see new life. And the funny thing is I'm looking at it and we both thought the same thing like, new life of what? Oh, what? someone's partying. I hope you guys are ready for a slightly longer clip than normal because I have quite a little bit of things to talk about. I have canvases. 
I have gifts, I have watercolor, and then I also have a Lego set, a little sneak peek right there, there you go. That's not theme related, it's not like a superhero set or anything, it's just like a really cool Lego set that I saw that I'm like, ooh, I really want this set. So I'm going to start with the gifts, starting with this from Camillo, so he is a traveling artist, he does a bunch of workshops, and I got to talk with him at my job, he was super cool, and we're just going back and forth about different stuff we do, and what's really cool about this whole experience is that at the end, he went to his car, came back, and he gave me this little brochure, which has these cool, what I thought were postcards, but they're actually like giant business cards of his art, and in here it actually talks about himself, it shows his artwork, there's his socials, go ahead and give him a little uh, follow, or at least check out his stuff because it's pretty cool. It's abstract, it's more impressionistic, it's a little more loose than what I personally do or enjoy, but what I like about it is there's an energy to it, there's a rawness to it, and he's still using it to actually do illustrations. So I like his flower series, which is mostly what's featured in this book, because it captures a raw feeling of things. So very, very cool, he was a super nice guy, very thankful he gave me his little pamphlet. I thought that was really nice of him. So I'm gonna find somewhere to put that in the studio because I think that's really cool. And then continuing the gifts, I did get these two gifts from my coworker Alexis, who is our new lead framer, and she got me this for when I get my own bathroom. And yes, that is Batman pooping while reading a comic. But it doesn't stop there because you saw there was two of these. I thought it was going to be Catwoman because I've seen the Batman and Catwoman one. But no, it's actually Superman reading the Daily Planet. Like, that's hilarious. I love it. I've never seen the Superman. I've seen the Batman. I've seen the Wonder Woman. I've seen the Catwoman. I've not seen the Superman. So I thought that was really, really cool. So that was a sweet gift from Alexa. She found them at a thrift store and thought of me. And I thought that was super, super nice. Um, now on to the canvases. I got a 24 by 36. This is an actual stretch canvas. And I also got a 16 by 20 white and 16 by 20 black canvas because I really want to try and push myself and do something with acrylics or at least worse comes to worse, paint absorbent ground on them and do something with gouache on top because fun fact, you can actually paint gouache and watercolor on canvases if you prep them with absorbent ground, which is just so for mixed media. So, fun fact there. Don't know where I'm gonna store these in the meantime, but until then, I am really excited to have them because I just want to be more inspired and push myself. And I have gotten some ideas that I'm going to pursue and I think will be really cool on the canvas. So we'll see there. And then let's get into the loot that I bought, starting with the non-art stuff. This right here. So this is the new Lego Dreams. It's a really cool series of builds. They're very random, very cool, very unique, very creative. And I saw this and I was like, I, I want this because this is so cool. I love turtles. I, I think these are, this is a really fun build by the way. It was very easy to build and you do have two options. You could do a normal van or you could do a flying turtle or a normal turtle. And I have to say, this was a really, really fun build. Uh, I did have some extra parts, so I did modify the build a little bit, include a couple little extra things here and there. And yeah, I love this. This dude speaks to me. I, I love this. Like, this is just so freaking cool, man. I love it. And yes, the doors do open, so very, very cool. So now he's just chilling on my desk for a little inspiration. Now, I don't know how much of the LEGO Dreams series I'm going to get. I at least want to get one more, which is this cool, like, robot dude. Because you know me, I love robots. So had to show you guys this. I thought this was awesome. And it, again, was a super fun build. I don't know how long it took me. I didn't time myself. But I really, really like the overall build and everything. Like, this is just a fun little project. I think it's so cool. My only complaint... The mouth does not open. It's clever how you built the head, but I wish they had a mechanism so the mouth could open. And I also wish this carrot was just a little bit longer. Maybe I can actually, you know what? I can easily just reassemble and put it right here. I think that would be a little better so that it's more in front. So I'm probably gonna do that modification shortly. So there's that. And the last thing is gonna be the art supplies. I also plan to go to Emerald Comics today. So I might do a quick little extra segment after if I pick anything up there, which it's me, I'm probably gonna pick something up because I'm a colossal nerd. But I got three new pens, starting with this multicolor astronaut pen. Like this little astronaut dude is adorable. And this has a bunch of colors, which is actually really good for just sketching because you can sketch different elements however you want. And it's also super satisfying just to you know select a color and click so very cool I also got these two right here so these are burgers and this is a dog and a bear absolutely adorable I think Sarah wanted the dog so I'm gonna give her that one 
But yeah, these are super adorable. They're actually like fine liner pencils, uh, fine liner pens, which is pretty interesting. So they have a very nice like width to everything. Actually here, look right on this side. So they have a pretty consistent width, very little bleed, very clean. I'm probably not ever going to use them to draw and make art, but I thought it would be nice to just have some cute pens when I need to take notes. And then lastly, we got some new Daniel Smith colors. So we had the half display, which didn't have all the colors, but had a good chunk of them. After we got that, it was a couple months until we started to get the actual full array of colors. So there's still a couple we're missing, but out of the new colors that we got, I had to put some aside. So let's go ahead and open these boxes and I'll show you what I picked up. I think I picked up five colors in total, I want to say. Yeah, I did pick up five, not six, because these Daniel Smith box can hold three and I take two of them together. So reading them out, I got Iridescent Electric Blue, which this color looks freaking gorgeous. Continuing that trend, Lunar Red Rock. You guys know I am a sucker for anything with a red tint. Speaking of that, I got Iridescent Scarab Red. So this one's pretty cool. So a couple metallics in here, which is pretty interesting, including Duo Chrome Emerald. So this is another little bit of a metallic twist. Very, very cool. I believe all of these were Series 1, which I can confirm right... Yep, they are Series 1. And then I have Ultramarine Turquoise. So this is a really cool one. Now, I like turquoise, but an Ultramarine Turquoise really hits me because it has a lot of that green that you see in Florida waters, which I do want to do more beach scenes. So really excited to have this one in here. So yeah, I have some new watercolors to add. I'm going to be swatching them soon. Totally forgot to swatch this dude, so I'll be doing that today as well. And we're just going to have a fun day, go to a comic shop, just kind of chill. And yeah, that's the plan for today. I'm going to clean the studio and hopefully do some art. So let's see what we can do. All right, Alex, where are we? This is our mecca. Like, this is our spot. So we're at Emerald our, City Comics, our, and our I've, I've already found some loot. You found some loot, but I have to show yet. you guys that these are animation cells, these are character sheets. And what's great about this is this is done by one of my personal favorite artists, Alex Toth. You can see Birdman, he was the lead designer for Hanna-Barbera's Age of Animation and Superhero Content. Dad's gonna flip when he sees yes. the Birdman. Yes. We already made this joke, but I'm gonna make it for them. Hey, there's my art. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so if I was to buy that and bring it home, I think this would be ground, the only way the only way Sarah would divorce me. Here we see the rod in his natural habitat, hunting for the elusive Phantom Comics. He will soon fill up a basket full of Migos and Phantom Comics, and spend so much. <laughs> I have the hand for my wife. <laughs> Actually, what have you found, real quick? Um, I also found, um, you know, ooh. This is fly. an old school of the fly. I don't I don't remember if I have a number four and I thought for the price I'd pick it up. Uh, okay, let's get into some toys and then we'll get back into comics. I'm poked up. Okay, you Eagle. did get the fire. Did you see the Flash Judge Dredd figures no. that were above? They have some Judge oh, Dredd. They weren't Migos. They were three inch, but it was uh, cool. That was cool. And then I, I'm a little disappointed in the... Um, the, oh, uh, I see what you mean. It, but yeah. the head on this the head's really red good. Tornado is fantastic. I think if they went with a yellow is a really tough pigment to play with, so I think if they that made the lines sense. thicker, it would have been better. And then we've got Scarecrow Super Friends, Meagle. And that's Figure Story Company right yeah. here in Tampa. Yeah. And then, of course, uh, saw uh, Marvel Masterworks Volume 1, Silver Surfer, Prince the First Four issues. Uh, so it's, it's really cool. I uh, really like that. And then I uh, found some Phantom. Phantom and number one from King uh, Dynamite. Oh, is Mandrake the Magician? Is that is the one line. where, um, not to cut you off, but that's the one where like the current era of the Phantom is missing. Right. And so, okay, I so like that fans. run. Yeah, yeah. Kind of I didn't finish run. it. This is Marvel's number Ooh. one Phantom. Kind of different. I Intra never read it. Uh, weird gauntlet. Okay, Look at you the know. Gun, kind of gun, real modernized. Futurist. Yeah, futurist. I, this feels very 90s. And then oh, the Phantom. Uh, we have this whole run. I've got one and two. We have I the thought, whole run. You got I it for me for, for my price, birthday. I don't even have to go look for it. I just yeah. I'll re reread it at that price. I like twenty four. Uh, fan twenty forty. I'm looking right now for MLJ. I love this line. What we call Red Circle. Early eighties. I want to look for the uh, Mighty Crusaders, and uh, we'll see. We'll see. All righty. You know. Nice. Sounds like a plan. Yeah, thank legitimately an absolutely amazing like little lego display i picked up three in here and they are so cool oh, i just noticed they have all the super members back there oh and they have batmite mm, i might have to grab that we'll see 
This place is amazing. It's super bright, I can't see, but I got some loot. I'll show you guys when we get home. You said there was more. There's more? There's always more. Please explain what this is. A collection of water bottles going back weeks. And this is all Chris does. Well, one or two might be mine. Okay, I'm holding Noah. I'll show you his little little hand. I'm holding, there we go. There's his little hand. I'm holding Noah. And Noah, I'm going to give you some, uh, some what's of wisdom. Don't do, just, what's this, why? And there's more, you said under the bed? Correct. Why? There's always more. Hey, hey, hey. We had a blast at Emerald City Comics. If you are in the Florida area, definitely give them a look over because they are awesome. There's so many cool stuff. It's one of those stores you have to walk around like three, four times just to see everything. Now I'm gonna make this super quick because we're gonna grab some pizza. Sarah is studying for a test and I also just kind of like keep playing with what I got. So normally I start with the thing I'm the least excited for and say the thing I'm the most excited for for last but I kind of like everything equally, so I'm just gonna randomly pick this dude. So this right here is First Appearance Batman, which is super cool, but it's actually really interesting because this is, first off, a repaint of an existing Batman Funko Pop, and the first ever first edition Batman figure released by Funko was under the 80th anniversary, which was a completely different mold because this is not accurate. So not only is the mask different, but you could see right there, they actually painted the circle on the belt to try and hide that is not the correct belt. And then the gloves. So Batman did not have these little spikes right here on his glove and they wore purple, yes, but they came to right here. So also the cape is not scalloped. That is another thing. So it's kind of cool, kind of weird. I do like it. So I thought it'd be cool to pick up. It was only like 10 bucks. I also got this really cool Mega Man figure. For those of you who don't know, I love Mega Man and I'm trying to get him in a really cool pose. He also came with a couple of interchangeable hands. He also came with an interchangeable arm. So you can just do two arms instead of a blaster and one arm. And then of course he came with an extra head. I love that little smile right there and a little effects part. So very cool. And he's a little little articulation right there so I thought that was pretty nice like pretty cool so I got those dudes and then on to the three that I saw them I had to have them they're super cool so first off first appearance Batman super cool like that's more of an accurate cowl he does have a little batarang this is not official this is one of those like bootleg knockoff legos that add extra parts and have like th those are really weird because they're like super high quality collectibles but I know they're not official so they're kind of a weird not sure how they're operating but i really do like this dude except for he doesn't have purple gloves which kind of sucks but i'm gonna get some purple hands for him also saw ted court blue beetle that's cool had to pick that dude up and he has his little bb gun super nice and then the one that really caught my attention was a jaime reyes blue beetle and yeah this one has a ton of new parts like he has this new sword new helmet and even the back right here so this is a chest plate that you have the scarab with these wings that are removable but it does come with an alternate chest plate so you have this one right here and then it has an alternate scarab that's closed that's cool i really like that detail so these guys are gonna be chilling in the studio this dude will be chilling in the studio this guy i don't know where i'm gonna put him probably in the studio we'll see i might put him in my bedroom we'll see the camera is sliding oh no and yeah, that's everything for today. So thank you guys so much. Uh, let's go ahead and move on to the rest of the month, see what we do. But I'm really happy with this loot because this is, you guys know me. I love like these little little dudes. I, anytime I can get Blue Beetle in any shape or form in plastic, I always do it. So thank you guys. Donna, 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 na 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 na. Watch out, man! Oh. No, that was Jaws. <laughs> I know that was Jaws. Yum, 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 yum. There's this little dude! It's adorable, but yes. we have two at home. We don't need another one. Oh. Or do we? No! Ba, ba, ba. Hey, 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 explain this to me one more time, because my mind is blown. I thought this was a serving. And I made the joke that that is Noah's size, but th that's one serving? That's a single serving. Th so, wait, wait, wait. So you're not, you're supposed to only have that in one sitting. So, nutrition facts, this little box here on the back. I've never read that a day in my serving, life. Serving size, one container. Okay. Big guy, same box. Serving size, two thirds of a container. Per container, you got, that's how many calories per container. That's how many calories per serving. And how much is in this little guy? Mm -hmm. It just says one container is a serving size. Huh. 
the more you know. The more you read. I was elected to lead, not read. Oh, the light shut off on yeah, us. No. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Here, let me just... Eh, here you go. Oh, yeah. Eh. Oh, <laughs> oh, no. oh, no, I'm sorry. Ah. Hey, show everyone your new haircut. It looks nice. It looks good. Look at that pretty face. That. Nice. Nice. It's really healthy for the warm weather. No. Careful. Sorry. So, <laughs> it's okay. We have sensors. So, I wanted to do a recap of the month of April. Okay. So, April was pretty good. I got four big projects done. Unfortunately, I had two commissions fall through, and there were instances where it's like, they didn't want to pay for the artwork, so they didn't get the artwork. Yeah. That does suck. I do like doing commissions. I like doing projects because it forces me to do things I normally don't do. But no, the camera's falling. No. no. There we go. Okay, overcorrect. It's gravity in my boobs. No. Keep that up. That's how we get more views. Uh -huh. Wait, wait. No. <laughs> so, we're a Christian channel. We're a family channel. Anyway, so the month of April was pretty good. I got four big projects. No, come back. Hi. Come back. So I got four big projects done. The release schedule for May is done, and I have to say, I'm really excited for the videos I've released in May because one of the videos is one of the most, like, uh, okay, that was the wrong wording, sorry. It is a video that I am incredibly proud of. It's one of my favorite videos I've ever made. So that one's going to be released shortly. Uh, I also have been gearing up with the projects for May that we'll be working on. Now, with that said... I'm working on a project too in May. I feel like that's an innuendo. No. Oh. Oh. Do you want to tell them what you're doing? Nope. I have no idea what I'm doing yet. So, one of the things that I'll be tackling is a little on my comfort zone, and I'm not sure if I'll be able to do it in May because I don't know if I can find the space. So, it's going to be a big project. I will give you a hint. It involves these things that I bought. This is Abstract Acrylic Ink by Sennelier. Sennelier. I'm not sure how to pronounce it's a French name. So, yeah. I uh, will be using these to do it, so don't know if that's a good enough hint or not, but I will say I am very excited to tackle that, so hopefully we'll all be able to do it this month. If not, I may have to push in and figure out space-wise. But I also have two fun updates that I want to talk about. So update number one is that for those of you who don't know, I am a huge animation nerd and comic nerd. No, and you? I know. It's like the guy that went to school for animation. And there was a guy at the shop that I work at that he had a Chuck Jones shirt on, and I was talking to him about it because I went to school for animation. We were talking about fourth, and I said, "Hey, we have the Chuck Jones tribute Black Wings." He goes, "Oh, I have four of those," and I'm like, "Oh, cool." So we're talking back and forth because I like Blackwing pencils. And I had to get the Chuck Jones one because I'm a massive animation nerd and art nerd. And so anytime I know someone who's a fan of animation, I always point those out because I think that's a cool thing to have. It's a cool collectible. So here's where it gets really funny is that we were talking back and forth and he goes, hey dude, have a nice day. And he left, he came back and gave me two pins. So pin number one is a Marvin the Martian pin. Pin number two is a Chuck Jones pin. <laughs> like. That's just awesome. This was so cool. And they're not, they're heavy. Those they're like good, good metal, metal ones. ones. Like, ah, kind of metal. Yeah. Well, it's like an old cartoon when you go to test if it's metal. Yeah. Uh, but yeah, so these are really cool. So this was an awesome gift. So they're going to go in the studio somewhere. And then this month, May 10th, we got invited to go to an exclusive artist reveal for a local artist in Tampa. Her name's Debbie. She is super sweet and nice. She came in, she's an acrylic painter, and she had a lot of questions on inks. Inks are my specialty. So we went back and forth, she told me what she needed for her project, and eventually, after like an hour, hour and a half, we figured out what she needed. She was so thankful. She had a little card, a pamphlet that actually promoted the event, and she wrote down her number and was like, hey, send me a message. I wanna give you and your wife VIP tickets. So we're going to be able to go to this event. I'm really yeah. excited. Uh, we'll not be filming. It is an yeah. event. I'm going to be respectful of people there. But I will tell you guys about it. So I'm really excited. The piece is going to be so cool. I'm so so it's gonna, it's, I'm really excited. It's going to be awesome. So that is a big event that's coming up in May. And then I'll be working on the projects as normal. I have a couple other stuff I'm working on that I know I need to do. One of them is going to be the realistic envy piece. That's going to be one it's gonna be a challenge, but I think it's gonna be one where I'll just have to just make do with what I with, with the time I have. With that said, though, I'm gonna play Baldur's Gate tonight. No ways. After editing this video, so do you have anything to add?
No. 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 He's not on camera. Ah, ow. <laughs> hurt. I'm sorry. I didn't mean to hurt you. It's, it's metal. Bad. Well, it was like a light tap. Yeah. Lightly tap you. Wait, wait, wait. Yeah. No. Wait. It's like a coin. I get a wish, right? Oh no 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 no! No! Yeah. 